Ready to put your app on the map? With our new Places SDK, it's easier than ever to find your place in the world. Earlier this year, we launched a new version of our Places API, bringing features such as more place types and attributes, helping your users more easily find the places they are looking for. To find out more about the features of the new Places API, check out the launch video linked below. When these new APIs were launched, they were only available using a direct call. This meant that when implementing in your application, you would have to perform a server call yourself. Now we have exciting news. SDK support has been launched for the new Places API. By providing SDK support for Places API, we are helping to simplify your app development, allowing you to focus on the core functionality of your application without needing to understand the complexities of the underlying APIs. Ultimately, you can get your app into the hands of your users faster. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the new Places SDK in your iOS application. Before continuing, ensure that Places API New is enabled on your Google Cloud project. Firstly, ensure your app is using the correct SDK version. Most Places New features are available in SDK version 9 or newer, with Text Search New available from version 8.5. Once your app is using the SDK, Places New can be accessed by calling the relevant method on the GMS Places client object. For autocomplete, use fetch autocomplete suggestions. For place details, use fetch place with request. For place photos, use lookup photos for place ID. For text search, use search by text with request. And for nearby search, use search nearby with request. Now, we'll walk through how to make an example nearby search request in your application. We start by creating an empty array called place results. This array will serve as a container to hold the places that are returned in response to our search. Next, we set our search area. For this example, we're creating a circular region centered in San Francisco with a radius of 500 meters. Place properties is used to tell the API the information we want for each place it finds. In this case, we're interested in the name and coordinates of each place. A nearby search request is created containing the restrictions created in the previous steps. To refine our search further, we'll include specific types of places. We want to find restaurants and cafes for this example. We'll create a callback to handle the API response with error handling. The API result will be cast to an array of GMS place objects. Finally, we use the GMS Places client to initiate the search. We provide the request we built and the callback function to handle the response. The iOS Place SDK is available for use with both Swift and Objective-C, so whichever language you use, we've got you covered. We also have a Swift first version of the SDK available in preview right now. Follow the link in the description to check it out. Also, be sure to take a look at the code and demos available on the Google Maps Samples GitHub page for more tips and tricks in using the SDK. Follow the link in the description to learn more. Now you know how to use Places New in your application. Check out the link in the description below to see the documentation, and we can't wait to see what you build. Happy mapping!